Would you turn over there? See the girl on the phone there? That's Carol. Now that's Greg's appointment secretary. Thanks. It will be a couple hours late, but we'll be there. All right, fine. Uh, excuse me. You're Carol? Yes. I'm here to see Mr. Sumner. And your name is? Abby Cunningham. I'm sorry, he's got meetings back to back, and then a meeting with you. I'm here J.R. Ewing. Just a minute. We're not going to accept them as a lost constituency. It's our job to go out and reach them. Let them know there's someone there who cares, okay? Greg, I need you to Okay, thank you. Right this way, please. Abby Cunningham. She's there for J.R. Ewing. Hello. Hello. J.R. sends his apologies. Oh, well, not a required. You can get Jimmy on the phone for me. Sorry about the surroundings. We're just in the process of setting up my campaign headquarters. No apologies are necessary. Mr. Sumner. Wait, call me Greg. Thank you. Well, Greg, I really appreciate you taking the time to see me. Uh, Abby Cunningham. Now, why does that name sound so familiar? Well, maybe you read Valley Newin's book. Are you married to Mac McKenzie? Mac McKenzie? Me? <laughs> no. Your sister-in-law is married to Mac McKenzie. Right. How is it? Mac's fine. You know, we worked on Wall Street together after law school. Did you? I should give him a call. Greg, uh, the reason I came here is to uh, offer you some help. Great. From Ewing Oil. It's no secret, of course, that you're about to announce your candidacy for the United States Senate. And this wouldn't have uh, anything to do with Ewing Oil's plans for some offshore drilling, would it? Well, we just realized how expensive a campaign can be these days. But if that's the case, I just wouldn't be able to accept this. I want to thank you very much for uh, coming by this signing in. Look, I hope you don't think that I... Carol. Mrs. Cunningham was just leaving. I've got Jimmy on line four for you. Jimmy, I thought you were going to call me last night. Yeah, but I waited. Look, it's never...